for now it's only that I can say to you thank you for watching, I hope to see you in the next vlog, Pa'alam, tot ziens! Sweetie, what do you want to eat? Sweetie, what do you want to eat? Sweetie! Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Magandang araw sa iyong lahat. Welcome po sa aking channel. In the part before the intro, you can see what this video is about. Uh, this video will be about Tampo. Now, uh, I want to give a small explanation. What is a Tampo? Uh, how you can avoid it or try to avoid it. Uh, and I want to uh, tell it in the perspective of the Filipina and also in the perspective of the foreigner, so uh, you can start understanding each side of, of it. Uh, and I want to make it like more clear uh, so you can avoid those situations. Now, this video is for the Filipina and for the foreigner uh, because I will talk about both sides so you can learn from it. Now, just uh, to make some things clear, my wife didn't have a tampo when we were recording the video, she was just acting. So don't worry, uh, everything is fine uh, with us. So uh, there, is, there is no problem, but uh, we wanted to make it more visual because um, if you're not yet a long time in a relationship with your uh, girlfriend from the Philippines or with your fiance, or she never had a reason to uh, give you a tampo, Maybe you don't know what it is. Tampo is uh, like more the word that they use in Philippines. Um, if you want to translate it to our site here, it's like you can translate it as stubbornness uh, in Dutch, kopighet, uh, something to do like that. Uh, I don't think there is a correct translation uh, for tampo. Now, uh, the definition of a, of a tampo is like that uh, the person is ignoring you completely. There are people that are pro for the tampo, there are people that are totally against it. Um, there are people, the people that say that uh, are against it, they say it's really childish. Um, and people that are pro uh, tampo, they said like, uh, and that's also the reason why Filipinas are doing it. The moment that you having a fight or start having a fight, they will try to avoid and they will try not to um, make an argument with you because the moment that they start saying words to you, uh, words can really hurt. And once they are set, they are really hard to take back and to heal those wounds. So better to keep silent and be in total uh, uh, isolation, if you can say it like that. Uh, so they don't want to, to hurt you and it's like uh, a little bit uh, to, to protect you as well. Now that's one of the reasons, for sure there are many more reasons that uh, Filipinas can, uh, can do a tampo. But it's like for that perspective, better uh, to be silent than to say the wrong things uh, at the time and later you feel sorry uh, for the things that you said. Now why I started uh, to think to make this video? Uh, like seven, eight weeks ago, I got a message from a Filipina uh, that was uh, asking for advice because she had uh, an argument uh, with her fiance. It was like a fight. She didn't go in details, but what she said, it didn't look really as a big fight. Uh, but yeah, a reason enough to start her tampo. Now, what happened, uh, a tampo can be like five minutes, but it can also take a few days uh, just to, to give you that information. Um, and she had her tampo for like three days um, that she didn't contact. The guy was sending a message. She didn't reply. She totally ignored. And the more she ignored the person, the more angry he became. 
and she was really disappointed that he didn't do any effort anymore for her to send messages because after the the third day he just stopped sending and she was like really disappointed and she's like that's really crazy and everything like that so she expected that the person uh, will do more effort be more sweet uh, uh, give more attention uh, and like that way to to show that he was wrong now it doesn't mean that you're always wrong if the tempo starts but as long as it's in their perspective they can start the tempo um, it's good that you can recognize the things <laughs> when the tempo starts so you can immediately uh, stop it or immediately uh, start uh, acting to it now the the lady was really disappointed and after i talked to her uh, like i think 15 minutes i gave my perspective from a tampo um, and the way that for sure her fiance was feeling and she really started understanding why he reacted like that and that's why i was thinking for sure there are a lot more people that are in the situation uh, that the filipina having a tampo and then there is misunderstanding and then you have the culture difference again and the we we have an explanation you can make from a mosquito an elephant so it's like the the problem becomes bigger uh, than it really is and that's why i was thinking i have to make a video i have to explain so uh, i hope you think this is informative now what i said also to the to the filipina and what i will tell to to you and my, my viewers is that a lot of foreigners they already had a relationship with uh, a belgian lady or somebody uh, from their own country and we also know that kind of tampo and things like that and and the stubbornness but it's never positive when a belgian lady is uh, making a fight with you you really make a fight you say things to each other even you don't mean it at that time you really uh, communicate um, even it's bad words uh, they keep telling it to each other if they hurt it doesn't matter because it's like it's something you feel and you have to express what you're feeling we call it also like when the bucket is full with all small drops you have to empty it uh, if you don't make it empty it will keep flooding and flooding and flooding so the problem will not be solved so that's how we argument here in uh, in belgium we keep shouting to each other and uh, maybe call bad names uh, and things like that <clears throat> but we keep communicating and the moment that here the belgian lady is uh, being stubborn and being silent that's really uh, a really big problem because it shows to her boyfriend fiance husband she don't want anything to do with him anymore so when she's starting ignoring him it's like a little bit like the relationship is over i'm i'm done with you forget it so when foreigners can see that the Filipina is doing a tampo, we immediately relate like I didn't do anything uh, wrong and you're like uh, blaming me and you don't want to do you don't want anything to do uh, with me anymore. So we, re we immediately uh, think the most worst things like that and that's why we don't like to see a tampo. Uh, because from a small misunderstanding the tampo can already start and here in Belgium when you have a Belgium uh, lady uh, that's the last stage that you have that's uh, their tampo their uh, stubbornness so they, there is like a total different way of looking at uh, don't talk to each other anymore now is it good to have a tampo uh, you have pros and you have cons sometimes it's not bad that you will not say bad words to each other uh, but a tampo for three days honestly that's over that's too much i can understand if the guy was cheating on you or something like that that you give him a tampo for uh, for days i can understand but for a small misunderstanding a small word uh, maybe a word that uh, was 
pronounced but like in a in a wrong meaning uh, because not all the belgians are speaking uh, fluent english so maybe there was like a kind of mistranslation on it uh, if you start a tampo for things like that for three days yeah that that's not good at all um, uh, a lot of foreigners they say it's really childish to ignore because we are learned to if there is a problem you have to talk to each other and you have to solve the problem together a tampo here with us mostly it's just making the problem worse uh, the problem will not be solved if you have a tampo because the bucket will not be empty it keeps full and after a few days um, the problem is still there if you didn't talk to each other about it the problem is still there it's not solved and that's why I'm also pro to communicate to each other and try to find a solution uh, maybe you can tell to the person like the words that you're telling me they're really hurting and maybe he can uh, explain what he means and then you can see oh yeah it was just a mistranslation it's always possible um, maybe the person did something that is totally fine with him but against the filipino culture uh, you can explain it to him because don't forget you are two different cultures because there are a lot of people in philippines that are thinking more western there is still a big difference by the way of thinking in philippines uh, and and here and maybe the person did something that you think like oh that's not really good talk to him um, you're still two different culture and you have to learn from each other and if the person knows that like oh if i'm telling things like this uh it's not respectful or something uh he will learn from it and he will not do it again that's in the end the thing that you want to have uh, that the misunderstandings they go away the problems they're solved and if you have some tampos in the beginning i can understand because you still have to learn but for example if you're 10 years together or 20 years together and you still have tampo it means that you never told to your husband to your fiance to your boyfriend what's really the problem because and to be honestly in the beginning we also had some misunderstanding it's normal uh, my wife had to learn my culture i had to learn uh, her culture i read already a lot about their culture uh, but still you cannot read everything on the internet so you have to experience it also and there were also some in the beginning and the first tampo i didn't understand also lucky that my wife if she has a tampo it's like half an hour one hour max and then it stops um, but in the beginning it's all like what did i do and what you have a lot with filipinas that time is like if you're asking what's wrong they say nothing and then uh, it's like even a blind guy can see that there is something what's wrong and then it's like nothing that's not a way of communicating if the guy is asking you what's wrong explain to him what's wrong what he did what he did wrong uh, there are filipinas even saying uh, if you ask what's wrong it's like you don't know you don't know what you did then you're thinking like no because if it was wrong for sure i would not do it or if it was wrong in my mind i would not do it so you have to really learn uh, about it and explain if uh, the guy is asking you what's wrong don't be stubborn and and just tell him like uh, that's wrong or you did that you did this and i don't like it and then next time he can learn from the mistakes that he made and it's working in both ways uh, you can learn from him and he can learn from you but communication is really important even if you are like i don't want to talk to you uh, for the moment you you can tell him eh? it's like uh, if he's asking you what's wrong you can say like um, i'm not agreeing what you said but just give me uh, a few minutes so i can i can process and then he will normally respect it and, and accept it but at least he knows that there is something and later on when you are like more calm and your blood is not boiling anymore you can start talking about the situation because don't forget that a tampo um, 
and that's what I'm saying in the beginning is like if it's about uh, cheating yeah that's totally a different story but a tampo for something small it's really not worth taking the risk to uh, to lose your relationship because for the Filipina it's like they want more attention and something like that but um, and I'm telling this really honest now not a lot of Belgians and Europeans accept it if you have a tampo for three days I don't know how many people that will uh, stay with you if you are not talking for three days a long distance relationship is already really really hard if uh, you're then ignoring your fiance for three days that's like hella if uh, you're here uh, most people have to go to work and then uh, in their free time they want to talk to their loved ones and if you're ignoring him then there are a lot of people that will become crazy about it so it's really important that you keep an open mind and that you keep communicating because uh, otherwise maybe for a stupid misunderstanding your relationship will be totally gone and I don't think that in the end that's what you want also they always say uh, you have wine and everybody needs to put water in the wine that's with everything it's hard for you to accept the culture for, from Western from our uh, countries here but it's also the, the other way around. The Belgians also need to learn your culture and that's also not easy. Communication is the key for a good marriage. I hope this video was informative for you guys. Uh, if you like it, if you think it was informative, please give it a thumbs up. If you're thinking, Andy, what you're talking, it's not correct. Uh, you can always comment below. If you didn't like this video, you can give it a thumbs down. So I know that uh, uh, you didn't appreciate <laughs> my honesty uh, I, I will see maybe I can make more videos about the culture difference from Belgian and, and Philippines uh, to help the people that are not really long in a relationship or that have a lot of misunderstandings or something maybe to, to help them out so if you have also a question about it you can always send me an email, you can send me a message on uh, Facebook. So just uh, keep communicating uh, also with me. So I have an idea which videos that you really want to see and which information that you want. Um, if you didn't subscribe yet, don't forget to click the red button down the video. Don't forget also to click the notification bell, that's the bell icon. If you click it, you have to choose also all. Uh, because I get some messages from people that saying every time when you post a video I don't see it anymore so uh, don't forget also to click that uh, if you're clicking it when I upload a new video you will see which one uh, that came online for people that are interested you can also uh, subscribe to my wife's channel that's Madame Philippinae Belgium uh, you can see her link on uh, the end screen uh, she's making cooking vlogs and also making vlogs uh, when we're going out so if you're interested you can also subscribe to her channel this is it for now hope to hear you soon paalam tot ziens